It is absolutely true that you can be a fan of somebody and think at times that they say or do incredibly stupid things. I have always been a fan of Batista and always will be. It's her fault I cheated on her because she got sick. That's legendary icon stuff. So why all these years later we still ask the question, how big is Batista's dick? But... Dave, 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 Dave. <laughs> when, when asked who in WWE he thought could be the next movie star from the current or former roster, of all the damn names he threw out there, he threw out there Ashley Fleer. Charlotte Flair. Let me say that again. Charlotte Flair. If I didn't think that Batista was actually serious in this, due to his bias with his great friendship with Ric Flair and so forth, I would think he was trying to pull the ultimate troll job. Because I'm sorry, I know I'm not a Charlotte Flair fan, so this is like a low-hanging fruit for me. And she's probably got a couple, nonetheless. But even Charlotte Flair fans got to look at her and say, Movie star? Movie star? She can't even grasp the basic concept of voice inflection. Her promos are still really bad all these years later. And she is not incredibly easy on the eyes. Let's come to that conclusion. You might think she's attractive in your own sick, weird way. But damn it all. Like of all the people you look at on the roster, you say Ashley Flair, Charlotte Flair, is going to be the next movie star. Like, she wouldn't even be the next movie star amongst the women. For crying out loud, Alexa Bliss would have her six ways from Sunday. Alexa can actually talk. Alexa looks better. Alexa fits the profile more of what Hollywood would look for in a leading lady or a supporting lady type of role. Whereas Charlotte, kind of being bigger and kind of butchier and perceived to be less feminine is going to have a harder time finding naturals that fit her, not to mention the act lack of real acting chops, which has been demonstrated for years in the WWE. And that's just the women, and there are others too. Like, you could make an argument for somebody even like a Zelina Vega. Looks better, and by God can actually cut a promo. And then from the looks department alone, which sometimes is all that matters, you got, for Christ's sakes, Renee Michelle, do I need to say any more? You've seen a lot less talented people than Renee Michelle become big time stars in movies and TV and so forth. But Charlotte Flair? Like, and then you look at the roster. Like, Roman Reigns has movie star looks. He can't act worth a shit either. But it is easier in Hollywood, Dave, as you should know, to find roles for guys like Roman Reigns to be kind of your Jason Momoa light and make money with them, especially in a world where everything can be taped and pre-recorded and rehearsed and worked over and over and over and over again. You don't have to worry about the pressures of a live promo. A lot easier an environment for Roman Reigns in that controlled setting to succeed. Braun Strowman, kind of a bigger, beefier monster. Wasn't he just in that whack-ass Sherlock Holmes movie with uh, Will Ferrell and John C. Riley? Now, he's a big, freakish dude. There are going to be plenty of movie roles for a guy like that. But you think Charlotte Flair is the next movie star from WWE? <laughs> Apparently, after all these years, we found out what was in those lunch boxes that Dave's been selling. He, Dave's been buying, excuse me. It's fucking... Blow. You gotta be high on something to think that Charlotte Flair can be a movie star. Let alone have more potential than anybody else on the damn roster to be one. <laughs> Give me a break. 